Welcome to Anime Detour 2020. Wait. Okay, okay, I can do this, I can do this. It's 2021. Do you know where your anime convention is? Yeah. I have missed you so much. This is Anime Detour. This is 2022. And we're all still here. The last two years have been unforgettable and Lord knows some of us are trying. But we've gotten here because we worked our tails off, because we took care of each other. Some of us learned how to take care of ourselves. <laughs> Some of us are still working on that one. <laughs> but this crew, this community, never loses sight of the fact that anime is not something you do, or she does, or they do. It's something we have in common. It brings us together, it gets us talking, we get the most amazing parties, like, you know, this one. <laughs> and we bring out the arts. So you're gonna see 48 amazing performances tonight, and you're gonna love all of them, right? Yeah. All right, before we get started, just in case, there's a rumor that I'm supposed to introduce myself. I'm told I'm supposed to do that every year, and I don't think I ever have. So, hi. My name is Charles. I run cons. It has been six weeks since my last con con meeting. And I don't think I will ever be out of recovery. I've been at this way too long. We also have judges here tonight. And I want to introduce them for a moment. If you could stand up and wave before the house lights go completely away. Ellen Tari. Kiki Craft, and Lady Isolina. And if I mispronounced any of them, I apologize, but I would remind you that mispronouncing things is kind of my brand. Uh, if I make it through tonight's show without pr mispronouncing anything, I want a cookie. I don't think I'm getting, I don't think I'm getting a cookie, to be perfectly honest with you. Alrighty, let's get started. Entry number one. It's showtime. Dearly beloved, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the unholy union of our beloved bioexorcist and his blackmailed bride. Help them, please. Sure, I can help them. You gotta help me. What? Look, I want out for good. In order for me to do that, hey, I gotta get married. Hey, these aren't my rules. Come to think of it, I don't have any rules. <laughs> come on, come on. Look, you think of it as a marriage of inconvenience, okay? We both get something, I get out. You get to say you're hitched to the most eligible bachelor since Valentino came over. We're even, babe. Okay, just help them.
uh, green room. I, I, I think that's a live audience tonight. <laughs> All right, entry number two. In the novice category, I give you Hu Tao. Are you ready for uh, 46 more of those? Okay. Entry number three in the journeyman category, Yona of the Dawn. Yona is the 16-year-old princess of the Kuda Kingdom. She is the reincarnation of the Red Dragon and is on a journey of survival to reclaim her birthright. Along the way, she finds friends and family in the form of other reincarnated dragons. Did you hear something on my stage? Is it that mouse? Is the mouse back? Oh, God, every year, every hotel. I think he's following us. Entry number four in the novice category. Clear card. Saving the world, one card at a time. Something many of you may not realize is we rehearse, we do a tech rehearsal for this show every year, and we don't always see the costumes until on stage. So I'm getting to have some of the same fun you are. Wow. Okay. Entry number six in the novice category. Klee Genshin Impact. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Here, some Spark Knight Klee. Letting this one on stage. Okay, hi. <clears throat> Entry number six in um, in the novice category. Standing at eight foot tall, I'm not nervous a bit. Welcome, Lady Loki. <laughs> Ooh. 
They didn't warn me this job would be dangerous. <laughs> Although by now you'd think I'd have figured it out. <laughs> Entry number seven, again in the novice category, Izuku Midorina from Ghost. Number eight in the journeyman category. From Ghost in the Shell standalone complex, Bateau. myself it's gonna be a long night again in the are now in the novice category number nine Zaya from League of Legends Now, let me see here. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Number 10. In the novice category, Ruby Kurosawa, AAO. The magical demon girl Ruri-chan from the anime Love Life, Love Live Sunshine. Entry number 11. Now in the novice category, Hana Hurichan.
I'll save you for dinner later. <laughs> what? We've been busy. Don't judge. <laughs> All righty. In the novice category, entry number 12. <laughs> God tier Dave Strider. Don't worry. You have a Strider in your presence. Everything will be fine now. So I have a confession to make. It, it may shock some of you to learn this, that I am a bit of a science fiction geek. I'm not sensing a lot of surprise in the room right now, am I? Okay. Um, not only have I all but memorized Tolkien's Lord of the Rings books, but I had so little social life in college that I also did that with Silmarillion. And if you thought I was nervous about letting Loki on this stage. I don't know who you are, but I love you. Uh, <laughs> wow, all righty. Entry number 13 in the journeyman category. <sighs> Bow down to the lords of Arda, not the wig company. Secret Victoria, and just because, as Sauron and Melkor from the first age of Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, as long as they didn't bring their spider with them, I'll be fine. <laughs> Some of you know what I'm talking about. Okay, cool. Entry number 14 in the novice category. One Umbreon Kigu. look really comfortable, are they? Yeah. All right then, that's an endorsement. Uh, okay. I wonder which one I should get. <laughs> you know, if I want this sort of abuse, I I've got someone at home who's really good at it by now. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Entry number 15 in the novice category. Tris Marigold. You got it. Alrighty, what have we here, what have we here? We have entry 16, journeyman category. Ah, Fern Calloway. <laughs> Hailing from the mystical Feywild, the fawn druid Fern Calloway seeks to find her parents, help her friends, and steal many, many shiny things. <laughs>
computer. Hello. There we go. All right. This computer is, I think, three or four presidents old. <clears throat> hey, it's running Windows 7. Mostly. Kind of more like jogging it, really. All righty. On stage, entry number 17 in the novice category, a hero in training. He's worked hard to be in class 1A, and now he's less than a year from, become, from becoming an underground pro hero, just like his mentor, Eraserhead, in training Mindjack. Entry number 18, again in the novice category, we have Final Fantasy XIV, The Warrior of Light. All right, have you had enough? Should we just stop now? No. Okay. Several of the contestants back there have much bigger weapons than that, and they know where to find me, so we're gonna keep going. All right, I don't know how many of you are fond of your classics. In the journeyman, in the journeyman category, entry number 19, I give you Persephone. advantage of the way we do this show, I'm not one of the judges, so I don't have to pretend. <laughs> These are all amazing. I don't envy what you folks have to figure out. Entry number 20 in the novice category, mittens. Da, 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 da. Number 21, journeyman category this time, Mushroom Prince George, not found, woken up just in time for lore. Now you may have caught me referring to some of these entrants as novice or master or journeyman class, and that talks about the level of experience and skill these performers have, these costumers building their suits. Why aren't you up here? I've seen some amazing, no, I've seen some absolutely amazing costumes out on the floor and running around the hotel, and that's fantastic. If you don't think you're good enough to be on this stage, I dare you to come play with us next year. And, all right? We want more. Always we want more. 
Entry 22 in the novice category, Director Hu Tao. And now 23 in the novice category, Umbreon. You were expecting another cute Kigu, weren't you? <laughs> that was not that. <laughs> okay. Never be sure you know what's coming on this stage. I'm not always sure, and I came to rehearsal. <laughs> Again in the novice category, number 24. My friends, meet Mother Miranda. Ah, this is a movie I've heard of. <laughs> what? Well, I don't have time anymore. Entry 25 in the master class. My friends, Cars 2. Yeah! Lightning McQueen is racing down the track. Looks like he's in for a pit stop. He's pulling up now. These engines have been polished and directed by Oakley River and Prince Welcome Matt, who first became true friends wearing these cosplays for the first time. ka -chow. I wonder why they're master class. Any theories? <laughs> Entry number 26 in the novice category. Mondstadt's favorite dancer, Eula Lawrence of the Knights of Favonius.
Okay. Entry number 27. Once again in the novice category, I give you Tamari from Naruto Shippuden. So how am I doing on mispronouncing things? Am I gonna get my cookie? <sighs> okay, fine. Entry number 28 in the novice category. Katra has just been made force captain. And she is armored and ready to lead the horde in the fight against She-Ra and the princesses of power. <laughs> You know, have you ever noticed how that crown Katra wears in her mask looks so much like what the Scarlet Witch wears? There's no connection, though. No, can't, no. Marvel, are you listening? <clears throat> All righty. Entry 29 in the journeyman category. Taco, you know, from TV. What new dangers face our heroes this week? Let's find out. Introducing Et Tu Frutus. Et Tu Frutus cosplay as Taco from TV in The Adventure Zone. Um, atop that central platform, it spans about 30 feet in diameter. You see a few dozen seated figures, all positioned around a raised catwalk. I look at Taco. I'm not a piece of meat. This is what you were born to do, Taco. No, I mean, I'm not a model. I'm a wizard and a chef. I think you need the booty tooch. I'm not just going to strut across a catwalk um, for your delight. Yeah, all of them are looking at one of you, uh, and they're all pointing up to the catwalk. I cast Prestidigitation, shoot sparks out of my fingers, cast Minor Illusion, put myself in a dope outfit, and start walking down the catwalk with all the style and panache I can muster, which is, I should note, a lot. <laughs> You know, never be afraid to be who you are. And if that means you have to deal with a bully, even if the bully's first name is, oh, put something at random, Vladimir, be yourself and fight back. Promise me? Entry number 30 in the novice category next. Hailing from Red London, captain of the Night Spire and champion of the Essen Tech, Captain Alucard Emery. <laughs> Okay, entry 31, novice category. I didn't know this was an anime, but I, I expect it would sell well. My friends, 
Barbie Princess and the Pauper. Now, ah, here, here goes my chance at that cookie. With all due apologies to everyone involved, entry 32 in the novice category, Nefer Pitu. Hey, uh, backstage crew, can we ask that cat to do something about our mouse problem? <laughs> no? Oh, uh, well. Alrighty. Novice category, once again, entry 33. Biscuit Kruger. She's cute, she's kawaii, but watch out. Behind her adorable looks, she is a menace, not to be messed with. Please join me in welcoming the professional hunter, Biscuit Kruger, from Hunter x Hunker, Hunter, 1999. I don't know what just, did somebody moo over there, stage right? Okay, um, don't start. We had a full moon the other night and I had heard howls all over the city. It... I know this, you want me to put, ugh. Anyway, entry 34 in the novice category. Cyber Kotori Minami. This is B. Makironi, leader of Interstellar Idols, as Cyber Kotoro Minami performing Spika Terrible.
you know, sometimes I think I can hear what you're screaming out there, but what you're hearing and what these ears are, what you're saying and what these ears are picking up, I hope are really different. Because <laughs> some of you should be ashamed of yourselves. I, I know I am. Entry 35, in the journeyman category now, my friends, Yunjin. Once again in the journeyman category. Number 36 is next. Sayaka Miki. And now, number 37 in the master class, Asra Al-Nazar, a mysterious traveling magician, enters the fray in a spark of rainbows that has traveled far and wide, surviving forests, plains, and bottles of champagne on a marble floor, and left them all unscathed. This outfit features a myriad of techniques to overwhelm the senses and transport you to another world. Please welcome Asra Al-Nazar from the Arcana. And now, number 38, in the journeyman class, the mirror, power of magic, power of might. Surrender the wand, the force ignite. Twilight Jasmine cosplay with the mirror from card capture Sakura. How many of you know how much I get paid to do this show? That would be correct. <laughs> I get paid in dignity and respect. Yeah, right, I don't even get a cookie, okay? But I get the same that all our other volunteers get. We have hundreds of people who make this event happen. Some of them have been working Anime Detour since its beginning. Some of us have worked at other anime conventions or other fandoms. All of this is volunteer. So if you have time, if you have energy, if you want to make this more fun and less stress, I had hair before I started running cons. <laughs> Maybe not a lot, but I did. Let us know, talk to the volunteers department, get on staff, get involved. Okay, we need all of you. We need a broader mix of people, we need more people, we need more people. Have I mentioned, we need you. All right, please think about getting involved. We always want more help. This is always more fun when we share it. I love the team I work with here. This is an amazing group of people. Next entry is number 39 in the novice category. Ava Naimi cosplay as the Lord of Geo himself, Rex Lapis. Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share?
I will have order. You will continue to shine like gold in my memories. Didn't see that coming, did ya? Some people are really good at guessing what's going to come next. For instance, entry number 40 in the novice category. Need a mystery to be solved? Here is Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Our next entry is in the journeyman class, number 41, Lord Sheshumaru. I don't think you like that one at all. <laughs> all right, number 42 in the novice category. How about eraser head? Number 43 in the novice category takes me way back. My friends, get a load of barf. You know, when we rehearse these, all I get is a little bit of text on my screen. I have no idea what's crawling up behind me. <sighs> Number 44, novice category, Venti. A mysterious bard who wanders the streets of Monsat. Whoever could it be? How can any of you keep screaming like that? My throat would be... No, they are. They're really... They've all been amazing, and we're not done yet. Number 45 in the novice category, Pokemon Wielder Volo! And now, in the novice category, entry 46. 
she's a fun and energetic dragon, willing to do anything to make Miss Kobayashi happy. <laughs> Presenting Toru from Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. <laughs> What would it cost to have her come in twice a week? <laughs> what? Who has time? All right, and now entry 47 in the journeyman category The Pride of Onomichi. <laughs> Onomichi Okun from Yakuza 6. So how many of you are thinking of joining us next year on stage? Just... Okay. My friends, I love you all and it has been a delight, but unfortunately I need to introduce our final performance this evening. Well then get up here next year. See how this works? Entry 48 in the master class. I give you the Darkling. You've all been delightful, but we are not done with you yet. I now have to express condolences to the poor judges sitting in front of me here who get to figure out how to score all of that. So good luck, thank you, and we'll see you soon. In the meanwhile, I understand our tech crew has a little something to show you. Hit me, big boy. Well, not like that. <laughs> Are you looking for me? I hear someone. It is, is a mouse. Me. Ah, welcome back. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, man. All right, would you please drive those people nuts? I will try. I'm out of here. All right. Whew. Ah, sorry. I was wrong. <laughs> Hello, anime detour. They forgot to give me a mic. I had to run all the way around, grab a mic, run all the way back. <sighs> Are you guys having a good cosplay? You guys having a good detour? All right, I saved the best of the best music videos for this detour's halftime show. Are you ready for them? All right. Like I said, what was I going to say? What? Um, I think you want something. I think you guys want the show? All right, let's get the show started. Hit it, guys.
We decided not to offer any awards, so we're all done. Bye. Bye. That didn't work, did it? Thank you all so much for waiting. Uh, while our directors and our judges come out on stage, I want to first say thank you to all of our contestants. All of our performers tonight were amazing. They were, they, they, some of them fought through never having performed on stage before, and I'm willing to bet you couldn't guess some of them. And, whoa, oh my, maybe I should start cosplaying. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Uncle Iroh? <laughs> Genma Sautome? <laughs> Sailor Venus? I want to thank our staff, <laughs> starting with Jess and Rakia, our directors, <laughs> and the Den Mothers and Stagehands you never get to see, Sage, Nathaniel, Amy, Wendy, Doug, Stephen, and Michael. Michael, by the way, is that mouse I keep complaining about. <laughs> Take it away, boss. Oh. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Rakia, also known as Rhea Pop. I'm Jess, I go by Anime Layer Cosplay. And we are your new directors of cosplay for Anime Detour. <laughs> We're glad to have you all. Um, it's our first year and you know, you get a little bit of butterflies when you're doing it because it's been ran by the same person for a long time and you're like, oh man, are people going to be okay with change? Are people going to be okay with the way we do things? And Honestly, this has been, from what everyone has been telling us, the smoothest cosplay contest that Detour has ever seen. On-time contestants, early contestants, that never happens for a cosplay contest. We're late, we're cosplayers. How's that even happen? Honestly, it's been kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, I just want to thank everyone that has shown up today to support everybody that was on stage. I want to thank all of the contestants. They were marvelous, weren't they? <laughs> and lastly, one of the things that Jess and I are very passionate about, of course, is cosplay, but building a community with cosplay. Mm -hmm. If you saw what you liked up here, if you felt your heart pitter-patter or doki-doki, <laughs> I want you on this stage next year. I want to see your face. Please. We love to see Everywhere. new talent up here. We, we want you to be hungry for it, please. And th that's all I got. So our judges are going to come on stage, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves. So come on stage. So we have Kiki Craft, <laughs> Ellen Tari, and Lady Isolina. You guys want to go in front of the table? And, I will... and they're going to tell you a little bit about themselves before we start the awards. Hello, everyone. <laughs> My name is Kiki Craft. <laughs> uh, KikiCraft.com, if you're interested in learning more. I am an artist, cosplayer, and cool person. Uh, Anime Detour was my very first convention a million years ago, and I am proud to say I am a guest this year. So it's a pretty big honor. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ellen Tari Cosplay, and I haven't been to Anime Detour in years. This is so fun. The first like convention I ever went to was Anime Detour way back in the old location, and Tifa was my first cosplay, and I was like, this is so fun. <laughs> so really fun to be judging. I've been cosplaying for about 10 years. I love you know, seeing everybody's work. It's fantastic. So thanks for having me. And I'm Lady Isolina um, from Lady Isolina Cosplay. <laughs> I've been cosplaying for about 20 years, started off sewing, and just recently got into the con scene about six years ago, and Anime Detour is one of the first masquerades that I competed in. So it's exciting to be on this stage and see everybody. So starting off with our Judges Choices Awards. And my first Judges Choice goes to Melkor and Sauron. Mm. <laughs> so a little something about this cosplay, it integrated a lot of different techniques, including metalwork, smocking, which you don't see much in cosplay sewing, 
and just beautifully done. My second Judge's Choice Award goes to Captain Alucard Emery. Mm -hmm. The sewing was beautifully done, especially for a novice. It was just very eye-catching on the stage here. Yes. Thank you. All right, my first judge award is to Rex Lapis. And uh, I loved her spirit. I loved how she said, I just wanna go for it. I wanna start the impossible. And she taught herself how to solder, worked with LED lights for the first time. She even had to troubleshoot backstage and she made it happen, so good job. Um, my other judge award is for mittens. Mm. <laughs> believe it or not, this is their first fursuit, which you would not believe at all. <laughs> Gorgeous seam work, wonderful attention to detail, did a ton of research to make it happen, so. Oh, and the pause squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's Kiki again. My first Judge's Choice Award goes to Fern Calloway. I feel like they weren't up here long enough. You, can, you could not see all the details in their props, and it's just amazing. Like, look at the snakes. Where is it? Call me. <laughs> it's all right. You're worth the wait. We're waiting for you. You're good. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Look at the shoes. Look at the hooves. The snakes. Okay. I don't have fingers. Gloves, you know. And the final Judge's Choice Award goes to Mushroom Prince George Not Found. Thank you for inspiring me. I am going to go home and I'm going to make this cape. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. All right, the first category we're gonna give an award for here in our best is Best Novice, and that goes to Hu Tao. <laughs> Amazing detailing, you put in so much hard work and you did a wonderful job. And our best to journey in. I absolutely loved the stage presence. The cosplay was beautifully put together. Taco, you know, from TV. And next, our best master is It's Showtime from Beetlejuice.
amazing embellishments, amazing detail work with their corsetry. Just fantastic. Best performance, I feel like you all know what I'm gonna say. Cars 2. Yeah. <laughs> Get on up. Ka-chow. <laughs> and our best workmanship. Um, this cosplayer put a lot of time, effort, and detail into this cosplay, and it just kind of took our breath away in the back room. Yoon Jin. Mm. Can I get a drum roll going? For our best in show, Lord Sashomaro! That, my friends, has been the cosplay for Anime Detour 2022. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, 2020 and 2021 kinda sucked, to put it politely. But, we're gonna have another cosplay, so between now and then, take care of yourselves, love each other as hard as you can, get off your butt and make the world a better place, and come back here in April of 2023 for another Anime Detour cosplay. Thank you all, and thank you.